Our heroes have made it to the next level of hell. I wonder what's in store. This week on D&D Minus. Welcome back to Talking D, the bit that I'm going to try to do two episodes in a row. Is it boring? It might be. We'll find out the hard way. Joining me tonight are Achoom the Cat, audience favorite. Achoom, thank you so much for being here. Hello, I wear many hats. Hi. And Morgan Clark, our editor and, of course, the actor who plays Damien. Morgan, thank you so much for coming on the show. I'm not going to have any input. Okay, that's fair. That is fair. <laughs> Please don't directly address me. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's already, already on the bit, yes. Also, don't right. look me in the eye if you can avoid it. Oh, God, he's the Chris Hartwick of our show. You hate to see it. <laughs> oh, no! A chum, so a busy episode last month. A lot of folks at home, a lot of pitter-patter in the Discord, in the Facebook group. Oh, my God. So much action, like I'm preparing for... I, I tend to go method personally, so it was a lot of ball licking, a lot of <laughs> batting around a little ball of yarn, a lot of coughing up a hairball, if you will. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Now, and you do your own stunts for the show. Is that correct? Every single one of them. Wow. Call me Tom Cruise, baby. All right. I don't le think legally I'm allowed to do that, but in Tom spirit, Cap I'm right I'm there. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like even ethically, <laughs> it's not. All right, excuse me while I jumped up and down on this couch, couch for a little bit. I love licking my own balls. I'm sorry, go ahead. All right, there we go, this. perfect. <laughs> okay. Not allowed on the couch. So, Achu, why don't you fill the folks in at home so that they know what happened last episode? Oh, so, so much happened. We beat the fire lizards. We talked to this little dude who was sitting on a pile of bones. We were not sure if he was on our side or not. There was a lot of talk about where things were. And then we boofed ourselves into his house. Damien fucked his mom. And um, we had a little short rest. And then we went and saw our lady friend in the big tower. We told her that what was going down on the front. And she was not happy at first about it. Oh, we put on a whole show. Oh, yeah. Yes. So we put on this whole show. <laughs> like the Muppets. I had the lights ready. I had a song and dance. We had a song and dance. Damien had a song and dance. But this freaking dog guess, over here beefed it all up by stepping on his own balls again. Anyway, he missed the fight. We fought her for a little bit, but then I was the like, guy the way. <laughs> but then Achoom comes to save the day and I put on another little hat and I was like, hey, this is what's happening. And she called her guy in her uh, upline. He looked like a human. Don't know why she was so scared of him. We hid in the rafters and gravy shot his pants again. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, Gravy did fill his pants with shit. What I love about the fact that Heath chimed in as Gravy just now is now I'm picturing that Gravy was there and the host just didn't introduce him on Talking <laughs> D. Like he's just been sitting there. Yeah, I had him, I had him like sort of storming in from off side Ooh, of the camera. Oh, yeah. Like, like he yeah. promised to sit in the green room, but then he heard people talking shit and had to jump on. I was on. stuck in the wall for a little while. And then yeah, I got he was stuck in the first through the wall. <laughs> the uh, studio. All right. Well, thank you Joe, so much for joining us. Achoom. Morgan Clark, everybody. A Truman Morgan Clark, also Gravy's here. Thank you here. so much for coming to Talk a D. Talk a D, everybody. Meow. In my mind, Asmodeus is just Eli with like silver hair and a soft voice. God, that's the nicest possible thing <laughs> anyone could possibly say to me. Or you need to really build up the fear of Asmodeus. Yeah, yeah. I think it's because you talked in a normal voice and I was like, oh, it's just Eli with silver hair. Got that it. would suck, man. Oh, God. Just a fat. <laughs> depressed podcaster like the final battle you kick him once and he's like ow I'm really not meant for physical activity like this ow I'm the lord of hell Sephiroth the podcaster <laughs> again the second nicest compliment I've ever gotten is 
Sephiroth. <laughs> I'll spear you through with a sword. All Ooh. right. You open your eyes and find yourselves back on the river. Or I should say a river. Because the water you find yourselves on now is not the inky black of where you landed, but gold. Flowing, dancing, liquid gold. But that's not all. Your surroundings, the very air around you, has changed. Gone is the scorching heat and blasted red earth of Avernus. Instead, you find yourselves surrounded by a bright, cloudless summer day. And every inch of earth that isn't this river that you're on a boat on is paved and packed with cars. Modern cars on their way into a bright, shining city that stretches before you. A monster of glass and steel and concrete, unlike anything any of you have ever seen before. Carl turns to all of you and says, The city of Dis, where everything, and I do mean everything, revolves around the dollar. Literally. And as you go further on your boat and he points, you can see that at the very center of this city, there appears to be a building 10 times larger than the other skyscrapers. A building made of pure gold and in the shape of a dollar sign. Carl says, that is the Tower of Dispater. He lives at the top on the bajillionth floor and you'll have to reach him if you want to head down to the next level. Okay. Feels like it's going to take a long time to climb a bajillion. Oh, the elevator space. takes fucking forever. Let me tell you. It's a really, really <laughs> long like He's going to be like an Ayn Rand hero of some sort of like city. <laughs> this is going to suck. Can I do a quick insight check on the River of Gold? Sure. An insight check on a river? Do you mean a perception check? 22. 22. I think insight works better for him. So. Oh, yeah. okay. Um, <laughs> you have a feeling it's the same river. Is it like poisonous, do I think, or no? Or like dangerous? Yeah, you think it's probably the same dissolving of dead souls river. What are, what's the river's okay. motivation? Because that's really what you're supposed to get <laughs> right. from inside. Is it method? Can I athletically check the river? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to dip my dulcimer hammers in it if it was like not dangerous, but... They're not living. You can dip them in there and see what happens. Okay, I'll do that. All right, and you bring them out and they shine with like a golden sheen. Ooh. Cool. So now I have golden dulcimer hammers. Nobody's going to dip their balls in there. Okay, I'm going to... All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Lots of cars. Mm. We should probably not let the cat go first. Oh, good call. Where, where are we going? Because you might get run over. Well, no, we should try to get uh, Heath to catch one of them. Oh, Ooh, Heath. <laughs> I won't run after car. Gravy. Gravy. <laughs> I won't run after car. Can I roll for that athletically? Yeah, you're going to run, try and catch a car? Athletically, yes. Yeah, great. Give me, give me just like an athletics roll. Oh, that's a 19. That's a 19. Yeah. So you grab one of these, you reach out and you grab one of these cars. With your hand, with your human hand. And oh my God. Even though they're moving really fast, right? And like you would have sworn that these were like metal steel cars that you, the players associate with like everyday cars here. When you do, you realize that the car you just reached out for was actually just a piece of cardboard being held by a devil that crumples under your hand. You sort of tear away a window and a part of a door. And the devil inside goes, oh, come on, man, I'm going to be late. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so I've caught a demon now. Th what? Well, no, there was a devil inside what you thought was a car, and you went out to touch it, and it turned out to be like just a cardboard construct that you tore a piece of paper away from. Oh, so, so these things aren't actually stopped in traffic. They just don't move. Exactly. I'm going to walk up to one of the cars and say, excuse me, knock on it. With my little paw. Knock, knock, uh, bat, bat. Yeah, man, the traffic's really terrible today. Can I help you? How exactly do you expect to get to the thing if these cars are made of cardboard? <laughs> get to the thing? First of all, the city is called Dis. It's on the plane of Dis. And I'm not expecting to get anywhere because this is traffic. I've been here for 475,000 years. And I'll have you know, I've already moved 14 inches. Ooh, seems uh, seems like it's a big diss on your your dissing yourself right there. Uh, no, you know what? Perhaps if we washed their windows, they would give us money. 
No, no, none of us will give you money. In fact, all of us will start looking in every direction except you if you wash our window. I'm already starting to wash it. Oh, God, he's he's looking any direction but at you. He's And now he's doing that thing where he pretends to be reaching into his ashtray for change, and then he does, like, big pantomime like, uh-oh, no change, shrug. Hey, Carl, Carl. Hey, yeah, what's up? Do you mind giving us a ride up to the city? Yeah, no problem. You guys want to hop back in the boat or are you guys going to mess with traffic some more? Let's hop back in the boat. All right, yeah, let's get out of the boat. I didn't even realize we had hopped out. Well, you must have. <laughs> Otherwise, how the fuck would you have reached those yep, guards? Yep. By yeah, the side of the back. Give me a second. It went badly. Okay. Uh, give me a quick <laughs> athletics check just to get back in the boat. <laughs> just a quick athletics check if you don't mind. That's just mean. Just a quick athletics check. Boom. That's a 14. Yeah. I got an eight. A eight. I didn't get out of the fucking boat. I wasn't chasing cars. I like decently athletically vault and maybe flip into the boat successfully. You definitely don't flip. Relax, 14. 14? You fucking make you it into flip. the boat is what you do, Mr. Fuck. Are we all doing it? No, no, just the okay, people good, who came out. Because I will die. Oh, yeah, which, oh yeah. shit. Then I do have to do it. One second. Yeah. That's a three. And he plunges <laughs> into the water. So. I have been murdered. I'm going to scratch the boat. Can I scratch the boat? Scratching the shit out of the boat. Yeah, <laughs> soaking wet <laughs> at Shum, <laughs> like a quarter of the size of what you thought he was. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, drying off. So Achum dries in the bright sun. And with that, Carl lets you off right in front of the shining city gate that leads into Dis. And you walk into the beautiful shining streets. You see a variety of businesses. There's JC Penny Pinchers, Gold Navy, and of course, Starbucks. But they all <laughs> appear to be empty. In fact, the only people you see on the streets are creatures of various races and species racing to and from the various buildings around you on heavily armored bicycles. Armored as in... The bike itself is armored or it also armors the person on it? Uh, the bike itself is armored. So the people are on it are not armored. Correct. I feel like those are just going to be cardboard. That's weird. <laughs> My goodness. So you say the Starbucks is empty as in there's no baristas or anything. We can't even just go in and get a... All of these buildings com appear to be completely and totally empty. Is it all made out of cardboard? I mean, you can go, you can check. I'm going to check. Yeah, no, it's real. Okay. All right, I'm going to make myself a coffee, right? Because there's no yeah, way to stop. Right? It. Mm, yeah, right? Sounds great. So, Vardas, you approach the doors, but instead of, you know, sort of pleasurably hissing open, a small slot in the glass in front of you magically appears and says, Entry fee, $4,326,129. Uh, Oh, okay. Hey, Damien, can I borrow one of them golden bongs you got or whatever? <laughs> Yeah, one of the golden dulcimer hammers. Yeah. So we're in capitalist hell, right? Seems like it, yeah. Late stage capitalism? No, it feels like someone would be working at the Starbucks then. That would be like <laughs> the person who was being punished. Ooh, right? that's true. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Actually, you look through the glass and there is actually <laughs> one barista working the bar in capitalist hell. Harris Q. His name yeah, is yeah, yeah. Elon Musk. He's um, <laughs> like a skinny guy with a, a beard and a bald head. Oh my God, it's a bartender. You can almost recognize him through the glass as he sort of tries oh my God. to figure. You can tell he's not really used to the coffee equipment and there's no customers, but he's just sort of <laughs> gently touching all the coffee equipment around them. He, he likes coffee. So Excuse me, would you like to buy some Coke? <laughs> He just wait. He can't hear you because the door won't open, but mm -hmm. he sort of waves at you through the glass. Do you notice how that guy's really tall? Mm. See how tall he is? If I had to say one word. Yep. Do you guys want me to like, you guys want me to grab something from him? <laughs> I would love to see you try to get through this glass. Yes. Go for it. Mr. I spent the last battle inside a wall. I'd like to athletically roll through whatever that means, getting through the glass. You're going to try and smash through the glass door? Uh, I'm gonna try to athletically get through. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I like think that would be Constitution. Wouldn't I'm it? thinking like Maybe Ocean's like... Twelve, like laser field, like break dance, athletically get through the Wait. door. It's a glass door, so that's nothing. What you just said <laughs> right. is no words. Yeah, you want to dodge the glass, the substance. <laughs> yeah, on the way through it. Cool. Yeah. No, roll an athletics check. Um, but before you do that, I'll give you bardic inspiration on it. Go for it. That's a twenty-seven crit. Don't you Perfect. don't need it. <laughs> Nope, you don't do it. You don't do it. Do you I know why? Because it's gl it's glass, and you can't <laughs> dodge perfect. glass. That's not you can't charm glass either. You wasted your what dice? <laughs> you wasted it. Wasted it. So what? What happens? 
you do the most beautiful back handspring directly into the glass and <laughs> slam again. And then you, <laughs> right, you go sliding obviously. down. And he then right behind the bar in the Starbucks, the sort of does like the, it's glass. You got to pay money to get in gesture. <laughs> At least you didn't get stuck in that one. I do the hand to the nose <laughs> Coke gesture and he comes to open it up. Probably. He can't. Oh, why not? Because there's an entry fee. He's tr he's trapped in there? Yeah. Oh, right. It is capitalist hellscape. Okay. Well, hmm. I don't suppose there's any rats or mice around here that I could talk to. <laughs> it's a Starbucks. I mean, probably. Yeah. <laughs> is there a dumpster outside? So you actually don't see any mice around. There's none. Mm. There's no trash anywhere. That might be a good thing, honestly, given our experience with mice here. Can we ask to run a tab with the door person? You can ask. Hey, uh, can we run a can can we run a tab? The guy who just tried to charge us like four million dollars. So the slot reopens and says, "You would like to enlist with the Detto Network in order to enter this Starbucks establishment?" Yeah, definitely. I uh -huh. feel like no. I feel like no. We don't. Well, he can well, do it. We we'll avoid him. What are the terms of service? <laughs> Oh, you can read them right here. And then it starts to, it's like a dot matrix printer and it starts to slowly print out just an incredible, oh God, but like so one much. line at a time. It. Printing, 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 uh. printing, <laughs> printing, out of ink, out of ink, out of ink. And then it's, it's stuck just out of ink. Yeah, I'll join the, the Dito thing. No, it's out of ink. It's frozen. So I can't join them? <laughs> It's out of cyan, and there's no cyan in the receipt here that you're trying to print, but it still won't fucking print. I'd like to smash the door with my sword. Ooh, Ooh. love it. Probably the quickest way to the cops, so might as well. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> why may I ask, are we uh, trying to break into a Starbucks? I actually don't know why he's trying to do this. I feel like he's just I feel like it's rogue. for coffee. Yeah, yeah, they might have that. <laughs> I feel like we just had a long rest and we are, we don't particularly need to perk up anymore. Shall we go to the big money building? It seems like that's where we're supposed to go. I kind of want to see what happens when he hits the door with a sword. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Do it. <laughs> nice. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'm going to pull out movie glasses and a box of popcorn. That's an 18. <laughs> that's an 18. Yeah. Uh, so you put a big, deep crack right in the center of the door. And you can tell that if you hit this thing a couple more times, it's going to shatter and you'll be able to walk through it. Nice. That's a crit on my second. That's day. a crit. Yeah. The door <laughs> comes shattering down and a huge siren all around you. You hear sirens go off just and it's maybe going for, I'm going to say 10 seconds when you hear a loud thunk as a manhole cover a few feet behind you goes shooting off into the air and a large humanoid and deadly looking robot rises out of the sewers. It glides angrily in front of you and says, Smoothhead, you have destroyed city property. Your municipal fine is $346,867.23. You may pay by cash or check. <laughs> check. <laughs> that wasn't me. <laughs> if the manhole cover is still flipping, I'm going to yell heads and point at it. Like, huh? He flips open his hand and it shows a little video display from some of the security cameras around the city and it shows you smashing the door and it says, false, you have been found guilty. $346,867.23. You may pay by cash or check. Yeah, just write him a fucking check. Yeah, write him a check. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> uh, I'll write you a check. Perfect. He takes the check and he scans and he says, your check has bounced. Your new amount is $446,867.23. You may now pay only by cash. Uh, do we have cash? Do you guys Delay have of cash? payment is not possible. Okay. You must now serve the full judicial sentence. I attack the guy. Ooh, all right. Oh, okay. Uh, what do you do? You just slash him with your sword? Yep. Great. It's an 11 to hit. 11 to hit. That will not hit. But you know what you do is he floats back out of the way and says, Grub Thug in danger. Backup requested. And instantly you hear worry as a four-legged hovering robot descends from the sky about 50 feet ahead of you and aims its red robotic eye of you. Somewhere in the buildings around you, you hear an ominous click. Everybody roll initiative for me. Oh. Uh. 
It's a 10 for gravy, a 12 for Achoom, an 11 for Vardos the Chaste. An 11 for me too. All right, Achoom, you are up first. Uh, as a 12, okay. I am going to, this is not an action. I can do it at any time. I'm going to do a, where is it? Arcane Ward on myself. Ooh, read that spell description. Once per long rest when you cast an abjuration spell, which I do not have any. Oh, shit, I need to catch an abjuration spell. One second. You can create a magical ward on yourself that lasts until you finish a long rest. The ward has a max HP of 13 and takes damage instead of you until it reaches zero HP. Fantastic. But you didn't cast a spell. So I'm going to look for an abjuration spell. One second. Okay. Fuck, do I just not have an abjuration spell? Ah, that's important. You do need those. One second. One second. Take a fucking second. You have shield. I have shield? Yeah, which is an abjuration. Hey, look at that. Perfect. All right. I'm going to cast I'm going to cast shield. Nice. Read that spell description for us. All right, here it goes. An invisible barrier or magical force appears and protects you. Until the start of your next turn, you have a plus five bonus to HP, AC, sorry, including against the triggering attack. Oh, wait, a triggering attack? Is this a reaction? <gasps> yeah. Okay, this is a reaction. I, can, I, can I do it as a... Uh... You cannot do it as an action, no. Motherfucker. How do I find... Oh, hey, hey, counterspell, but there's no, no spell that's been cast, fuck. Oh, wait one second. No, fuck. That's necromancy. <laughs> fuck. If you'll give me a fucking second. God damn it. I'm picturing this in real time, like I'm picturing a tomb <laughs> flicking through Looking a through spell cards. book while these I... robots sort of patiently <laughs> stare okay. at Okay. No, no. Well, yeah, then, no, no. I'm not gonna do that. I... Flipping out hats. Yeah. Throws the fucking <laughs> spell book to the ground. I am going to wait for it. I am going to. It's funny you said that because I'm going to give him a firebolt. Ooh. Uh, I don't think you've done that one yet. Read the spell description. Okay. Firebolt. You hurl a mote of fire at a creature or object within range. Make a ranged spell attack against the target on a hit. The target takes 1d10 fire damage. A flammable object hit by this spell ignites if it isn't being worn or carried. Oh, this, oh, <laughs> this spell's damage increases by 1d10 when you reach level 5. So it's 2d10, bitches. Nice. Uh, and you're doing the, the big humanoid one that's... The one that's uh, closest to us. Coming up against Gravy. Yeah, the big one that came out of the ground. Uh, Yeah, roll that uh, attack for me. Firebolt. That's a crit fail to hit. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you you <laughs> angrily search through your spell bulk for a second, throw it to the ground, throw a thing of fire at the mirrored wall behind him, and it just shatters as well, and you see like a siren go off, and then it just like, boop, boop, slowly goes off again. I had to swim today. I was murdered. <laughs> I was murdered. I'm just going to pout. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not even doing any bonus actions. I'm going to pout. No bonus, bonus action. action. All right. Pouting. Pout. Achoom is pouting. A saved action. Pouting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damien, you are up next. Okay. I am going to cast darkness and I'm going to do my inherited one so it doesn't cost a spell slot. Mm -hmm. Does this have a sweet song? Ooh, it does. Thank you. Yeah. Casting darkness should be pretty easy to come with a punk song. Then. Not a Simon and Garfunkel one. You sure? Oh, shit. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I have a corn song and a birthday massacre song. So I'm going to whip out my brand new golden. No, I shouldn't do that because they'll probably shine through the darkness. I'm going to whip out my regular loot and I'm going to sing, kill the lights. We kill the lights and put on a show. It's all a lie. But you'd never know. <laughs> and I'm going to cast darkness. And magical darkness spreads from a point you choose within a range to fill a 15-foot radius sphere for the duration. So based on this map, I'm going to cast it... On the robot. Yeah. So I'm going to cast it like a, a, essentially around us. Okay. But but not me. But not gravy. <laughs> not well. I can't. I can't. it's either. I deserve this. That's fair. That's fair. I I I got. I just uh, you know I I panicked and I attacked. Just saying, you should be allowed to attack a cop if they're being unreasonable like that guy was. 
Or how about <laughs> this is a suggestion. What if you put it like right here and then there's darkness between us and this door. We could sneak into the Starbucks. Oh, there's, pro- there's probably a way out back here, right? Is the glass wind door broken? The glass yeah. door in front of yeah, Gravy is broken. Yes. Okay, then yeah, let's do that. I'm going to cast it right on Gravy. Well, I'm going to move to Gravy first. Mm. Sure. Definitely behind him. Try and get some human shield. And you cast shield. this magical darkness Dude, around Gravy, <laughs> Achoom, and yourself. Yes. Great. That's great. <laughs> love that. I love, I love this move. idea. You can move. Yeah, no, when it's Vardos's turn, he'll be able to move <laughs> in this turn-based game. <laughs> I'm trying to see if there's anything else helpful in this spell. Why wouldn't you have casted it first and then moved into the Starbucks? But if I move into the Starbucks, then I'm out of the darkness. Yeah, they can also very much see into the Starbucks. Oh, they can? Okay. Yeah, it's glass. I'm assuming it's glass, yeah. Remember you had a whole interaction with Heath and Wright inside? I, I thought the door was glass. I didn't see, I didn't, okay, never mind. Yeah, I definitely want to stay within the darkness. Okay. Of course. Okay. That's me. Yeah. What is Heath and Wright, the, the barista, <laughs> doing right now? He's probably <laughs> sweeping up all the fucking mess that you made. <laughs> yeah. He's got a tiny broom and a pan, and he's like ready to sweep it up. When you guys are done, but he's hanging back. Doing a spot sweep. Yeah. No, that's important. Yeah. I'll make a Heath and right. He's over here. Okay. <laughs> God, he's so tall. He's so tall. Yeah, he's a huge giant. He's just a head. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it says, if any of the spell's area overlaps with an area of light created by a spell of second level or lower, the spell that created the light is dispelled. Ooh. I'm assuming they have not, when you said they showed up with like lights and stuff, did that dispel? Yeah, those aren't spells. Those are just like, these are robots those are just with lights. lights. Those are okay. like, yeah. be-doo, be-doo, but they don't, but those lights very, as stated in the description of the spell, those lights do not penetrate the darkness. It is magical darkness. Also, worth noting, creatures with dark vision, because I know you mentioned it earlier, I don't know how much of it made it into the pod, but dark vision actually cannot see through this darkness. Oh, shit. Cool. So cool. you are all blind now. Nice. As well. Not all of us. I'm just going to start yeah, caterwauling. Listener, I'm not in the dark. They left me. No, Vardos is, all is by my safe, fucking self. just surrounded by killer robots wow. outside of the darkness. That's I, I can get us to the barista wow. just by the smell of cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that he has cocaine. He I sure do. Yet. It's hell. I mean, we're right by the glass door. We can mm. walk through the glass door. We have that. And I can smell it. Spatial awareness. All right. Great. So... Achum, Gravy, and Damien are now cloaked in this magical darkness. Vardas is standing five feet away from it <laughs> in the open air surrounded by killer robots. All right. You hear a bang and Vardas, 15, will that hit you? Uh, no, it won't. Nice. You hear a bang and there's a twang off the light pole behind you, Vardas, and it is your turn. Well, I hadn't done anything wrong up to this point. I feel like now I'm just defending myself. So I'm going to (laughs) attack. Wait, no, sorry. Yeah, I'm going to like dive roll to this dude, to the big giant robot. (laughs) Love it. And I'm going to whack the fuck out of it. Wonderful. Could you do it from within the darkness? I don't think so, but I wouldn't be able to see. He would be blind. He would have disadvantage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I'm right at the edge of the dark. You could be with like your whole body except your eyes in the darkness. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that work in cartoons. That does. Yeah, that no, it's, it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to make you roll for it because as you slash your sword across this creature's metal chest, there's like a loud screech of metal on metal and the uh, the robot's not bothered at all by the, the slashing damage. All right, well, I'm going to do it again anyway, just because I can. So that it'll <laughs> sure, have a big yeah, and again, yeah. you X in it. Slash another big scratch right across the chest of this giant robot. Really yeah. thought the second one was going to work. Sorry. All right, well, I don't have, like, spell stuff that I could do, so. I guess that's all. I, I, I My ability to charm him was kind of thwarted when he started <laughs> shooting at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you don't know who shot at you. It was definitely not the big one in front of you. Uh, oh, well, now yeah, I'm- you just heard a gunshot and there was a, a ricochet off the light pole behind you. But well, OK, so now if he hasn't attacked me, then no, then I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to like roll in. I'm I'm a fellow law enforcement officer in this universe. I'm like, <laughs> oh, there I'm we just going to say hello, fellow law enforcement office uh, officer. It is sure a tough day to be on the beat, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can charm the robot. <laughs> 
make a persuasion roll for me. I like this. I like the cut of your jib. All right. Where is <laughs> persuasion? There it is, because it's alphabetical. And for those who are like, oh, no, I already tried to attack and he shouldn't be allowed. The speaking's a free action. <laughs> well, and, and finding out that like the the giant robot in front of you didn't attack you is it like changes things, right? Like it that. Does. Excellent. Like, yeah. 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 Oh, Jesus. Okay. So I got a five in terms of my <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> Question, civilian. How does that boot taste? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like this robot. Can we take him with us? All right. <laughs> Gravy, you are up. You are hidden in magical darkness, which you cannot see through. Okay. Who turned out the lights? I would like to... <laughs> So it's a it's like kind of a standard Starbucks right inside of, of this door. Mm -hmm. Now, I will say this again because I, I, I don't want you to be disappointed. The walls are glass. No, but the, the, but the door is smashed open. Yes. Okay. So what I want to do is run inside and generally right near the door somewhere, there's going to be one of those, uh, you know, wipe down the table buckets full of liquid with a little bit of the whatever. <gasps> I want to no. grab one of those buckets. Um, no, no, no. We're not going to assume there is a fucking bucket full of liquid, Heath then right? We are going to make an investigation check to see if there is a bucket full As of liquid. his turn? Well, he's in the dark. It, I, How would I, he I literally know? crit failed that. I crit yep. failed. <laughs> yeah, you see no such buckets cause you're because you're in the dark. It's dark out. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. a coffee. It's a, okay. Okay. So <laughs> there, there's one liquid that's probably. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I make the. Uh, just barely amount of moves so that I like can see into the Starbucks, just see naturally as my first thing. So you, you, you have to choose where you move. You can't move and then do a thing and then move again. You have to choose where you move. So use your movement speed to move wherever you would like. Okay. What's your movement speed? 30. So I could go to, I could go over to the, to Heath, the Coke dealer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's about right. By the way, listener, e Eli managed to find somehow the cousin from the the from Goonies, the um, yeah yeah I got the, the <laughs> sloth yeah I got sloth going. He managed to find sloth as a character to stand as my symbol Heath. for Heath and right yeah yeah um actually wait wait wait, wait. No, look, can I rethink this exact move yeah no whatever you, whatever you want to do okay so I'm gonna move just enough in okay so I'm there and I'm I'm looking around and I'm seeing probably a bucket full of something right. Make an investigation check. I'll tell you if you see a bucket. You already made an investigation check and crit failed. It. No, he made that in the dark and he failed it. I oh, critically funny. failed in the literal dark. In so the that, dark. That's reasonable. All right, that's solid. 16. There you go. 16. Yeah, you do actually see a bucket next to Heath and right the Starbucks barista here behind the bar. All right. So I'd like to tell Heath to uh, bring that bucket over to me real quick. No way, man. Absolutely not. Come on, just bring it over. Nope. I'm doing a thing. I'm do it's He like, hides behind the bar. He hides. You obviously I see you hiding. <laughs> he hides. Yeah, you can't you're too tall to hide behind a bar. You can hear me right now. He hid. This is turn based. You need to kind of do it right now or else I can't. He hid. He's, He's gone. He's, He's gone. gone. He's, gone. <laughs> He's gone. He hid behind the bar. Gone forever. I mean, you did smash his door. He pops his head out. I would have sold you Coke and pops his head back in again. <laughs> I would still like that lady. Uh, he's gone again. <laughs> All right. Bonus actions. Anything. Oh, did I already do my action by checking? Yeah. So the investigation check was your action. Okay. Can I? Let me check. Can you move twice as long as it contains your walking speed or no? No. Okay. I have not particularly useful bonus actions, so I can't really do anything now. Okay. <laughs> Delightful. Oh, fuck. We're going to die. So I thought I was going to do a thing and the fucking barista duck, you saw, he saw me and he heard me and then he's gone. Actually, none of us can tell because of the dark. Yeah, because I mean, we're all Trust in me, that's what just happened. <laughs> this is unfortunate. I thought it probably, fuck. All right, somebody else go. I've marked the bucket on your map just so you know where it is. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. So yeah, now the giant robot's turn and it can see you, Gravy, perfectly well. Thanks to you moving exactly into where it needs to. Wait, so he can see through a ball of darkness and then... No, he can see through the glass doors into the perfectly clear room that you just walked into. But like at an angle. 
Yeah, at an angle. There's some glint. There's a bit of darkness. In the yeah, light. you know how like when there's a curtain you know, to your left and to your right, there's not a curtain and you can see that area to your right, even if it's at an angle? The curtain's made of glass. Yeah, Heath's side stage. Gravy's side stage. Yeah. They're not totally visible. Nope. Yeah. Totally visible. No. I feel like Bullshit. he's going to be off by a little bit because of the refraction angle. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how he rolls. So he he aims at you and he says, "Citizen, cease movement." And he's going to cast slow on you. Yeah, dude, it's not my turn. I'm I'm not moving. But he's got to go through the glass. He's got to cast that through the glass. Yeah. Can you do that? Yeah, it's special spell glass that allows uh, grub thugs oh. to cast through the glass. It's a semi permeable spell glass. Yeah, you actually look and inside on little small letters it says. Cast your favorite spell through this glass, but only for grub thugs. So that's crazy, right? Okay. Are there a bunch of frogs next to the bucket now? No, they're okay, in the bucket. That is There's... because whenever Anna gets bored, when other people are taking your turn, she creates frogs onto our map. <laughs> I'm a cat who likes to curse things. Frogs are a curse. How many frogs are in the bucket? Everyone, don't, please ignore know. all it's of the frogs Anna creates on oh, our map. Oh, a small one. There's a little small one. They're really small. She's now attacking all the other creatures with a frog. You must ignore them, podcast listener. It's very important for your cohesion not to pay attention to the frogs my wife has covered our map with. Anna is drunk with frog power right now. Drunk with frog power. I love the mm -hmm. frogs. I'm trying to pick up a frog, but I can keep I keep getting the fucking bucket. There you go. I got a frog. <laughs> Never mind. I got my own frog. <laughs> Noah, what did the doctor say? What did the doctor say? <laughs> He said, whenever you start stressing out, grab yourself a little frog and make him hop around the board. Yeah, yeah you yourself can have a frog. frog out of a bucket. There, Noah. And go I to gave you a frog, it. Noah. Oh, you thank you. This is medically required. You have to let him. This is how we treat you now. Is we, we, we just hand you frogs when we think you're stressed out. All right. Oh, there you go. Fucking, you can have what? a frog. <laughs> there. You can have a, a frog. A frog the size of the entire city just showed up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Frogzilla. What was that? What was the thing in Zelda, the big fucking frogs? Gorons? Goros? No, nah, and there's a big frog thing in the in Tears of the Kingdom. Don't tell me how to frog curse. Don't tell me how to frog curse. <laughs> it's a Patty LaBone song. <laughs> Don't tell me how to frog. I so, simply no. gotta. Right, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Don't tell me not to frog. I simply gotta. <laughs> the rain on my, my frog aid. Frog parade? Someone's got a better thing about frog parade. <laughs> Hey, everybody, just jumping in once again to thank you for listening to the shows and a happy new year. It is our first episode of 2024. And man, do we love making this show for you. Hey, if you haven't ever given us any money, 2024, how's that for a New Year's resolution? Throw us as little as a dollar. You'll get access to all sorts of cool stuff, including, and man, do I mean it, a one hour and 39 minute, 40 minutes, something like that. Christmas tacular bonus episode DM'd by the one, the only Keith Enright. For as little as a dollar, you get access to it right away. And I got to say, it turned out so, so good. But hey, if you can't give us money, we understand. Why not review us on all those podcast places? Give us a five star review. It helps more people find out about the show. It boosts us up in the iTunes rankings. And it just feels nice to see all the people that have enjoyed this podcast. All right. Thank you so much for listening to the show. We'll be back in two weeks with another one, and we'll talk to you then. Bye. Heath, make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw for me. It's going to be 17 to succeed. <laughs> I'm juggling my frogs, and He is juggling his frogs, too. That's an 18. Okay. God damn it, it's a five. It's next That is a five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you feel yourself like slowed magically, and you cannot use your reaction. Your speed is halved. You cannot make more than one attack on your turn, and you can take either an action or a bonus action on your turn, not both. These effects last for one minute, and you can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of your turns. Um, I'm going to do a counterspell. Yes. Ooh. Is that an abjuration by any chance? Good old two blue counterspell interrupt. Uh, MTG? It is an abjuration, baby. That's what mm -hmm. I thought. Okay. So uh, one reaction, which you take when you see a creature within 60 feet of you casting a spell, which I did, right? 
No, because you're in the darkness. Fuck, you wouldn't. Never. You wouldn't have seen it. Oh yeah, you didn't see it. You're just in there. I'm caterwauling. so sorry. I'm always. I'm such a fucking narc when it comes to shit like that. I'm so sorry. It's about okay. That. I can't do you know it. what? Wait, move first and then do it. No, it's not, it's her, not, turn. not her turn. I didn't have to read out the casting time. I could have just read the fucking spell. I told on myself. Damn All it. Right, we had to see it. So yeah, you are slowed, and then it's going to turn to you, Vardos. Honestly, I feel like it's all good. If my like actions are halved right now, that's a bonus for us. If anything. right, like we're more <laughs> likely to survive yeah. this whole thing. The only thing I can do is attack with a sword, and that worked not at all. So I was just like, I'm gonna run into the. Star Honestly, box. our little musical would have gone so much better. <laughs> so yeah, now he's gonna move over to Vardos, and he's gonna attack Vardos and say. Aiding and abetting fugitives with municipal fines. Sentence, death. And he's going to take a big swipe at you with his hand. Really sorry about this, buddy. That is a 25 to hit. That seems a bit harsh. Yeah. And that is 16 damage. Jesus. He's pretty tanky, though. Is he? He's paladin. I mean, not enough to take three of those. So. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. It is the other robot that you can see right now. The one that has four or four legs that flew down from the sky. And it is going to fly over to the area of magical darkness. How many robots are there that we can't see right now? Is what I'm mm. curious about that's now. The, that's the question. Yeah, it is. Oh boy, semantics. It's going to fly over to the magical darkness. It's going to turn on its side and it's going to like use its legs as sort of a helicopter to try to blow the magical darkness away. Mm. Oh, it's doing like a Chun-Li thing? Yeah, exactly. Chun-Li. Exactly. Ooh. Rude. Can you blow away magical darkness mm. as if it's a cloud? That's what I'm finding out. I don't think that you can. That sounds unreasonable. Yeah, because it's darkness. Darkness doesn't react to wind. You can't blow away a lack of something. <laughs> right, right, exactly. <laughs> so like, blow the photons into that area. I don't. Think yeah, no, it's a magical darkness. It's not air. Yeah. All right, then you know what? It's it's not going to do that. It is going to. <laughs> I feel like it should have to waste a turn trying. Yeah, I feel absolutely. Like if you didn't have to waste a turn with your fucking double well, sword had, slash, no, no, no illusions. You told me. You told. You literally said, and then you're attacked, and you, and then there's a fucking robot. So, like, if I, like that's that's like you not telling me what was going on. This correctly. is javelin gate all over again. Well, so it's exactly. Fly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Once again, you are incorrect. Which was and super you're, clear. It's yeah. going to fly. Actually, it doesn't even need to. It's just going to shoot at Heath from here. There's a glass in the way. No, but remember, it's Spellow glass. That's both. Yeah. Wait, so this is a magic robot? Yeah, there's a magic robot. You're shooting magic bullets at him right now? 12 Are you saying you? we could have just fucking done magic through the glass and gotten ourselves a goddamn <laughs> No, it coffee? only works through grub thugs. Uh, 27 will hit you, yeah? Yeah, second one will hit. <laughs> no, it doesn't hit. <laughs> Okay, that is going to be 22 points of damage and you're going to be pushed backwards five feet. That's helpful. Okay. All I'm saying is I'm, I'm starting to like lean towards... Remember that there was a listener who said that you had to kill off our characters more often so that we would know not to fuck around? Ooh, no, yeah. I'm just... I'm just... Not you. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, Achoom, you are up. So, really quickly, Anna, before you go, mm -hmm. I'm right after you. Do you want to delay your turn after, to after me? Because I might give you a situational advantage with what I'm going to do. Are you getting rid of that darkness? No, I'm going to try and distract them and either turn them around, run them away, or just turn them around, I guess. So, if they're turned around, you may get advantage on a spell. Oh. Because you'll be casting from behind them. Okay. Well, I will delay my action until after the goth goes. Okay. Achuma is never going to learn any of the buddies. Wonderful. <laughs> you know that because you delay your action, you'll now always go after Damien, right? Oh, interesting. I'm okay with it. Okay. I'm okay with it. Cool. Just wanted to make sure that that was okay with you. All right. So, Damien, you were up. Couldn't Damien delay his action next and then switch it back? <laughs> and then they never go and the game is over. That's You've solved my... <laughs> I just blew up on my side of the computer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. If anybody has a uh, rational conundrum to give the robot, we would win. But yeah. Barring that, so to the group as a whole, I can create a sound 
like a distance away. Um, so like throwing my voice essentially. My thought is if I can perform something to either make them go after that or to at least just turn them around so we have advantage. They're they're cops. Do a like a Ted Nugent song or something. <laughs> oh yeah. Ooh. That would probably Or do them. a person of color doing anything. Right. Well, yeah, behind. really. <laughs> yeah. Right, right. Or any rap song would probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. Do sure. the voice of that. No, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Mm. Make it make it <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh so like <laughs> Brilliant. What do we think Morgan? would work? Morgan, <laughs> cut yourself doing a black voice just now? That wasn't a black... Anyways. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. We all heard it, Morgan. Why, why were you doing it then? What was the significance yeah. of it otherwise, Morgan? Mm, it it's all meant. coming together. If only you were on social media to be canceled for your <laughs> crimes. <laughs> you too could experience how awesome it is. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, general thoughts. What do we think, performance-wise, will get them to turn or run? Now, I just want to throw this out there before this thought gets too great because I do love it. But just a reminder that the magical darkness is a concentration spell. Yeah. Thaumaturgy is a verbal component. It's not also a concentration. So I should be able to do that while keeping concentration. Are you? Eli, right. do you need to go to the rule book? Can you not cast any other spell while you're doing you a concentration? I can't cast any other spell. Oh, One okay. One moment. I'm going to look it up. Can you, can you yes. cast? I thought it was you can't cast another concentration spell. You no, you're right. You're right. You can cast non-concentration spells while concentrating. Yeah, you can multitask. Yeah. 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 You can't multitask. Though. Hell yeah. So I'm going to do thaumaturgy, which is a cantrip, and I'm going to do it with a performance aspect as an actor, because mm. I'll get a, a better check on it, right? <laughs> so yeah, what do we think would, would turn them? Do we think like maybe if I sang the lyrics that I did for Darkness, you know, 20 feet away, that would turn oh, them, or do you think if, you if I was like, like hey, we're let's... not gonna take it? <laughs> oh, make it sound as though one of their favorite bands is doing a rooftop concert, a la the Beatles, on top of the Apple Building. <laughs> but they're the robots. Yeah, that I would feel be like Toby they don't Keith. Okay. Robot Toby Keith. <laughs> Roby Keith. Yeah, but still somehow techno or something. I don't yeah. see the ability to throw your voice here. It is. Uh, you create an instantaneous sound that originates from a point of your choice. Within range. Sounds like literally voice Such throwing. as, read the rest of the sentence, you commie. Yes, yeah, such, such as, as a rumble, rumble of, of thunder, thunder, the cry of a raven. But that doesn't mean those are the only <gasps> things. Make it, make it sound like a building falling down. Yeah, that could be true. Yeah, say such as. Yeah, but such as are not the only three things. It's a non-exhaustive list. Wait, okay. Sorry, sorry. This is like an SAT fucking question. Like, what does it sound like? A rumble of thunder and the call of a fucking the raven. cry of a raven. That's or most of the music whispers. that Damon listens to. That's fine. That's That's like anything. <laughs> it does sound a lot of his stuff does sound like rumble of thunder, the cry of a raven, or ominous whispers. It's true. Yeah, yeah. Objection sure. rescinded. Make it sound like there's a fucking Skrillex thing going on, like like three blocks down. <laughs> Darling, so I don't that think way. you know what the gist of Damien's character is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it sounds like something. It so sounds like something dying, something much Ooh. larger than what. We're, what's happening here? You're so close because I believe Skrillex was in As I Lay Dying before <gasps> he was Skrillex, but oh! not Skrillex. Skrillex music Wait, is garbage. Sorry, is Skr I thought Skrillex was the name of a band. I'll drag our po podcast to a halt to clarify this. No, Skrillex is a man. There's a man named Skrillex. No, Skrillex, Skrillex is an is EDM like a, artist, a, a, like an electronics guy. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. Just like Evil Giraffes on Mars is one dude, Eli. Yeah. yeah, don't don't bring evil dragon. And They're not goats good. Is one dude. So like Skrillex <laughs> is decent. Oh, you've but, hurt him. like you've hurt him. He's sad now in his <laughs> jazz basement. Why did you have to hurt him in his jazz basement? I'm gonna get all the way through this because it's important. Skrillex was in a metal band, so he looks like a dude in a metal band, but he does EDM now and he's not as good anymore. Oh. And the original band was As I Lay Dying. And I have an As I Lay Dying song. In my notes. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> All, All right. right. Fair. No, it's clarified. You're it's good and clarified. You're welcome, neurodivergent nerds in our audience. <laughs> you don't. You can press delete on that email you were about to send us. Also known as your welcome audience. No, are you kidding? The Skrillex fans in our audience are sending <laughs> Morgan such a mad. <laughs> Amazing. So, I think that if I 
pretend they've heard my voice because I sang and did darkness. Yes. I think that if I throw my voice as like, a, let's escape this way or something that will turn them, maybe. Is that the goal? You want to turn them? Or like literally, I'm a black person walking over here. Like anything... <laughs> We'll distract these cops. Make it sound like an Irish car bomb. Come on. Okay, let's relax with the failure. <laughs> let's just keep it all chill in the funny zone. Let's all Listen. take a step back into funny. A car, go- a car bomb from a different nationality. We can do a racist thing, but I feel like... Yeah. Yeah, you Okay, okay, mister. Okay, relax. <laughs> like there's not a car bomb nationality. <laughs> yeah, for, when come I on. say car bomb, you yeah, say... Yeah, you say... <laughs> Nazi. Party. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, we're all going to, first of all, let's take a step back into the funny space where it is a (laughs) raceless noise. Let's keep it there. Two, very important for me, Morgan, what do you want to happen in these moments to these robots? Just tell me the goal and I'll tell you what to roll. Okay, I either want to draw them away because they think that we're getting away Mm -hmm. or I want to at least turn them around so that, you know, we would have advantage attacking them or advantage running away because they're not facing us. I'm happy to do the turnaround. I'm not going to send them running off in another direction just because they heard a sound. Okay. But I will turn them towards that sound. Let's make this a performance check. I'm going to say it's difficult because they're all literally staring at Vardos. And Gravy. They can see Gravy. Yeah, they, they can see Vardos and they can see Gravy. So Are you the, saying they're looking at them at the same time so their eyes are kind of doing the Wimbledon thing with a light? <laughs> exactly, yeah. That was my thought was like, I'm wondering what would... Or their eyes crossed. Pull their attention from, you know, two things. I was trying to think of something strong enough to pull their attention Explosion. Away. I'll get their attention pulled away. I, they will be looking in another direction, but they won't go that direction. Sure, just okay, so you know. cool. Okay, this so is a performance up- check, and I'm going to call this, this is difficult, I'm going to call this an 18, please. Ugh. You're being such a hard ass this season. 21. Ooh! Oh, yeah. All right. They are all now looking over in this direction now. They're all looking away from where you all are. Is the barista outside now? No, I just was using him as a, as an icon to show. What you need right now is a frog on the board. If you just if only I had a frog oh, to gesture of- with. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you they look called- away. Excuse they look away. me. Yeah. I have been summoned. I give them the finger <laughs> when they're looking away. Brave. Oh, now they get. Oh, they look back. Oh no, no they all look back. The, at the sound of my doing the finger. No, I was just fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> so then I am going to move. Out of the darkness. Out of the darkness. And I'm going to, I know a choom can't I know release. you have a song called Out of the Darkness in your repertoire. Oh, there. I don't. That'd be a good one, though. I need to find that. But what I am going to do is I'm going to kind of motion that we should escape this way to Vardos and Gravy. And I'm going to kind of also whisper to a choom, hey, we're escaping. Wow, we are standing right here. I don't think like they can super hear. right here. We're robots. Well, hey, it's wait, wait. crazy. You think we wouldn't hear that? I didn't say anything to Vardas and Gravy. I motioned to Vardas and Gravy. Mm-hmm. And then you made a noise, which and very clearly I'm not going to say anything. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> okay, so we're going to leave a tomb there. All right. You just do the big wide eye thing to yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So are you just ta- are you just booking it? You're taking off, Damien? Yeah, I think I am. All right. Damien takes off down the street. Does that mean we lose the darkness? Because he's not concent- or I don't know if that counts. But- no, I'm still concentrating. He's still concentrating until he does a concentration spell on the stage. He's still concentrating. All right. Achoom, your little goth boy has just taken off sprinting down the sidewalk. But you don't know because you're in the darkness. Yeah. You have no idea. I. I- I could hear it. I could hear it. I could hear the the sound of fucking. Hear, we're leaving. Uh, I'm sorry. I could. <laughs> I could sound uh, hear the sound of fucking hot topic like metal boots with like the chink a chink a chink 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 chink. The yeah. chain wallet is making yeah, noise. Yeah, the chain wallet. Ah, exactly. oh, y'all beat me to you. I was gonna say whenever he runs, you just hear him go hither, thither, hither, thither, hither, 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 thither. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna move out of this fucking darkness. <laughs> The problem is I do need to... Do I need to see him for this? Well, that's a great question is if I like stop the darkness myself, can I... Fuck, I I have to touch him. Can I give everybody wide eyes that we're running away? Yeah. What? If I stopped the darkness... Yeah. Or if the darkness has disappeared, couldn't I give everybody the like the head backwards like let's fucking book it? 
Yeah, I wink at you. Yeah, okay. And so a tomb can see me as well. Yeah. You you just got rid of the darkness? Yeah. Okay, there's no more darkness? No more mm. darkness. Okay. <laughs> I was going to do a thing, but then it turned out I had to fucking touch a robot. You know what? He's right in front of me. I could. I could touch a robot. Run away. I'm going to touch a robot first. Okay. Yeah, like slap him and run away. I like that. Oh, actually, you know what? I shouldn't because then he'll get it. Then, then he'll get an attack of opportunity on me. And I don't want that yes. to happen. Mm -mm. Run, run away. Or wait, he'll get an attack of opportunity on my thing because this is an abjuration spell. So if he's going to get one either way, do the slap, do the paw swipe. I am going to reach out and scratch him and bestow a curse on him. Ooh. Nice. Because I love, I like, I like, to, I like curses. Okay, uh, you touch a creature and that creature must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or become cursed for the duration of the spell, which is concentration up to one minute. When you cast this spell, choose the nature of the curse from the following below. I will choose of these things. Wait, don't don't choose it until he fails. Let's make sure he fails first. Oh, really? Shouldn't we? Okay. Yeah, otherwise it, it, there's no point in reading the spell descriptions. Sure. That is a 16. I'm afraid he saves. <laughs> Cool. I am. Well, I did. I did do that. So now my uh, uh, my armor is on. And I'm going to run. If you try to run, you are engaged with him, right? So you can take an attack of opportunity. Indeed. But I do have my arcane armor on me currently right now. So. So you have plus five. So the armor has 13 HP and he has to hit the armor instead of me. Okay. Great. So he is going... What happens if he does more than 13 damage? Then I take the rest of it. I think, wait, 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 wait. Let me see the wording. The ward has 13 max HP and takes damage instead of you until it reaches zero HP. It doesn't tell me. I'm assuming it says until it's... It takes damage until it's at zero HP. Like he has Okay, to yeah, and then you'll take the me. rest. He's going to go for a double slam here. <gasps> I am going to use my reaction, to, uh, my protection reaction to like reach my shield out. She's within five feet of me, so I am going to impose disadvantage on the attack roll. Ooh, and it's a good thing you did because nice. that was a 23. So Ooh. let's see what this other slam attack does. So that's a 23 and a 29. So 23, that will hit. <laughs> and that's going to do... Just for spite, you're going to use the 23. <laughs> well, no, it's the lower of the two. It's going to do 22 damage. Okay. Nine damage. So that's the first slam. The second slam is a 19. 19 does hit me. Yeah. I like that Morgan is inching away as we're talking. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, no. He's gone. He's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he can get away click, with... The, the, he's more than 30 feet out. Um. So wait. So can I not impose disadvantage on both? Can you do that both times? I think you can. Yeah. Why not? 19 and a 27. What does he have? Plus 13? Uh, plus 10, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. One reaction which you can take when you are hit by an attack. So I can take do this for the second one. An invisible barrier of magical force appears and protects you until the start of your next turn. You have a plus five bonus to AC. What was that to hit again? Okay, that was, with the disadvantage, that was a 19 and a 27. The, the second one. It was for the second one. Uh, 19, then. A 19? Yeah. Well, fuck. Never mind. Never mind. All right. And you are going to take mm. 15 damage. Okay. I'm going to put my little tail up in the air and <laughs> run, run, run away. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm going to take off my wizard hat and put on like, uh, like a, a little Speed racer cape. hat. Speed racer hat. Exactly. And I'm just <laughs> going to fucking dash out of there. Fucking jetpack, baby. Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to say this. Look at my butthole. <laughs> yeah. A uh, tomb takes off running behind Damien. Interesting choices. Vardas, your AC is a 18. All right. Let's see how this works. We just left gravy. Sure did. And me. And me I That'll just... hit. So Vardas, you hear another gunshot and you are going to take 21 points of damage. Fuck. And Vardas, you are up. All right. Well, my longsword doesn't do anything, so I'm going to try my mace on him. Nice. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's a one. Oh, a no. natural one. Well, it's it a embeds. Six, but yeah, but it doesn't. No, well, yeah. it's a one. You don't no, get the pluses yeah, when you roll fail. one. It's a crit fail. Yeah. yeah. 
So you slam this maze into his chest and it just sticks there. It just sticks oh, in his no. chest. And you cannot get it out. You sort of pry, put your foot up on him and try to pry it out again. He's but like, it is, I keep it now. It is stuck firmly into his chest. Listener, the dice sat at 19 for a second and then it like rolled over to one. Like, you know how like a golf ball will sit there and then it'll go. It was like that, but the opposite. Cruelly, yes. The golf ball sat there on the edge of the cup and then rolled back away from the Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's one attack. What's up next? Well, it is, is my mace like stuck in him? It's stuck in him. You can make a strength check to try to remove it, but that'll be your second attack. On arm strike. <laughs> you can also <laughs> try to slap him. I'm going to headbutt this motherfucker. Yeah. That's oh, nice. oh, oh, I love yeah. it. Jack Reacher style. Do it. All right. 15. 15. That will... I don't think that will actually do it. Yeah, and that will not hit, do any damage. That, so you oh, just okay. dink your head right off the metal chest of this giant robot. Motherfuck! <laughs> <laughs> you take half a point of damage. <laughs> I would give you one point of damage, but you do not have enough to spare for that no, to be I a really, comedic I really yeah, don't. So yeah. You take, you take a, a comedic point of damage. All right, bonus actions, movement, anything. Uh... No, I can't afford to give him an attack of opportunity here, so uh, no movement, and I don't have any bonus actions that would be relevant. All Fuck. right, Gravy, you are up and alone because you're cool. This is going team great. Abandoned you. Hey, I mean, this was just like you fucking around at a Starbucks, man. Yeah. Like, I don't think you get to complain, right? I think I feel like I have all kind of legitimate complaints. <laughs> However, did this happen? Everybody clearly before I did anything wanted to go in and get coffee. That I was just trying to get. <laughs> no, I, I remember everyone coffee. saying, "Hey, break and enter," and then if you get intercepted <laughs> by a cop robot. Try to fight it. <laughs> yes. is, I don't know what else to do when a cop is being unreasonable. Okay. So, <laughs> man, white privilege, everybody. Welcome. They <laughs> deserve it. The cops have white privilege. Okay. I'm a dog. So, the first thing I do is just, uh, the, and sign language counts as a non action, right? Because speaking is a non action. Mm. Um, maybe. Tell me what you're going to do first, and <laughs> okay. then I'll decide whether it's an oh, action God. or not. Well, you could just hear Eli learning from <laughs> season one to season two, can't you? I, I, the learning curve in action, folks. It's I do the well-known sign to the barista that says, call the Antifa army, some shit's going down. So he's that's the first hidden. Thing. He's gone. You can't see I'm him. He, he's, he still wants to make a sale. He knows what's he's happening. He's gone. There's no barista. He's there. He's just under the counter. He's hiding under the counter. If you want to go to the counter and look for There's him. There's a mirror and he's looking at the mirror. The water thing. <sighs> he gave you the pail of water. Go get the fucking pail of fucking water. It's All I would be able to do is go to the water and then have it. And then I'd be... <laughs> <laughs> now, right now, you don't even have water. Like, trust me, I've been yeah. whacking the shit out of these guys. It's not doing much good. <laughs> Everyone's abandoned. He, here's what. Here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna slowly start walking out toward the door, and my hands are up, and I'm doing that. Like, <laughs> come on, guys. All right. I'm doing that gesture. Cool. And as I'm doing that, that's called the white privilege. <laughs> that's yeah, the white, the white Thank privilege. You. Yes. Thank you. And as I'm doing that, I'm like, listen, guys. I, I this is. What you're doing is just creating a cycle of debt. You see how that must be unfair. You don't. You also don't have a lot of money, right? You're They're a cop. robots. It can't be a good thing. Uh, and then when I'm done saying that, I'm about here, and then I run really fast to here. <laughs> okay, you don't have that movement speed by any shot. I do have exactly that movement speed. You have 30 oh, no, feet. You could get yeah, to here. So here. Yeah. So you're there at the edge. You are not away. <laughs> you're just there. At you the could, edge. wait, 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 wait. You can dash. And I'm gonna dash. So 30 more. All right, so Gravy runs away. Thanks, guys. This is great. I love it. Fucking should have run. Cool. Everybody should have run. I would have got killed. I was <laughs> engaged in combat. Yeah. And as I'm running away, I'm like, you should vote for more progressive politicians. <laughs> if you die, we'll come revive you. Cool. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> Romantic. You know, that's the same damn thing the doctors told me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Speaking of which, the big humanoid robot is going to take its turn now. Gee, I wonder who it's going to attack. <laughs> yeah, it's going to try and slow the three of you that are trying to run away. Oh. How long is that spell? What's the distance on that spell? That spell is uh, 100 feet. 
Jesus. Yeah. Well, I'm around the corner, so... You're not around the corner. <laughs> You're running straight. I can see it happening, though, oh, can't you've I? you inching like a couple extra... Squ- nice job. Yes, I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I've been waiting for my chance to audibly say this. Morgan has been moving Damien Dark Crane an inch or so at a time <laughs> yes, yes. across our Just map. the whole time, Morgan's been One like... One blink, pixel blink, at a time. Blink, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Blink, blink, blink. Blink. Yeah, literally. He might as well have summoned a bush on top of his character and then moved. <laughs> To the lung. <laughs> Everybody make a DC 17, who is running away, obviously. Make a DC 17 wisdom saving throw for me. Ah, 13. Mm-mm. Crit. Nice. Nat 20. Crit success? Crit success. Critical success, yes. Waiting for gravy. Wisdom saving throw. 19. 19. All right. Gravy and Achoom are headed off. Damien, you slow. To a walk. Not once. And then it's going to take some slams on Vardos here. That's a once. No, it's a, yeah, it's a, that's a natural one. So I will not give it its second attack. So it slows Damien. It fails. Our laser shooting friend. How far is that laser range? Oh, okay. Plenty of range for that. Is going to take a shot. At oh, but it's not Damien, it's a frog. <laughs> they, you can't shoot him because there's a frog there now. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so it's the perfect disguise. Frog leaps in front. Yeah. Perfect curse. And I <laughs> yeah, dives in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> so this is going to open up. It sort of has an aperture where its eye is, and that aperture opens up to cast the spell lightning bolt. I'll read that as a reminder. A stroke of lightning forming a line 100 feet long and 5 feet wide, blasts out from you in a direction you choose. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw, and you're going to take 8d6 lightning damage on a failed save, or half as much on a successful one. Lightning ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. That includes frogs, right? That does include frogs, yeah. So any any of the frogs that you brought into this, Anna, are going to reap the consequences. Anna, every time I check our map, Anna has <laughs> done a new, more complicated design of frogs here. It's a frog parade! So Damien and Gravy, roll those DC checks for me. I will tell you what the dexterity saving throw is. It is going to be... It's the croak parade? <laughs> bum, it is going to bum, be a... Bum, bum. 17, yeah. It's going to be a 17. 17 dexterity. What's the uh, distance on the fireball? 100 feet long. Wow, that is a cool spell. It's a long-ass spell. Oh, come on, 13. Ah, uh, nope. Will not do it. Gravy? Wait, what's happening? Dexterity saving throw. Got to hit a 17 to avoid this lightning. There's nobody, like, walking into the line of this by accident, just a, a bystander? Sure, yeah. <laughs> do you want to kill some bystanders in I your imagination? Like Absolutely. Yeah. I want to kill some bystanders. Yeah, why can't we do that? <laughs> oh, my God. This is last season all of a yeah. also <laughs> bikes in there. Yeah, he's fucking dead, too. <laughs> what am I doing? A dexterity Dex. saving throw. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what does Heath hear when I speak in this part of the show? <laughs> fucking 20 in your face. Yeah, Dexter. I also got a 26. No, you did not. Come on. You got a 13. <laughs> I possess a memory. All right, that's 8d6, I believe. Yes. Fuck. Don't do yeah, this. And uh, Heath, you're going to take half as much. We're going to die. Don't do this. We're going to die in this place, and I'm going to never find another character as cool as a chum. Why would I take half for dodging? That's what, what the spell says. That's how the game works. Damien, you're going to take 29 points of damage. No, I'm not. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's so silly. And Heath, you are going to 14 take... 14 or 15. Does it round up? Uh, it rounds up, yes. 15. 15 damage? Okay. Mm-hmm. Do I get an attack of opportunity for that? No, you were running. You were literally running away. Yeah, I don't have the opportunity to fight back. <laughs> yeah, you can run it back like a not piece of shit coward. <laughs> All right. Achoom. No, Damien's up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Damien, you're up. Yeah. All right, Damien. You are off of this battle screen, very clearly attempting to escape. So here is what I will say. How do you attempt to fully escape from these robots? I'm going to do the thaumaturgy again. Mm -hmm. 
that it says you can instantaneously cause an unlocked door or window to fly open or slam shut. Is there another Starbucks nearby? Yeah, there's one like a block away. Jesus, you could have just used a goddamn <laughs> spell to open this fucking door. This you wouldn't have to do this whole fucking fight. What the fuck, man? This is like Roger Rabbit slipping out of the fucking handcuffs at the end. I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. I just don't think we should have opened the door in the first place. But now that we're here. <laughs> now we're here. Maybe speak up next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in a capitalist hellscape of level two hell. There's a Starbucks right next to this Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, it's like every corner, yeah. <laughs> it's not a Starbucks. But I will say that there's like um, one of those ghost kitchens. How about a bank? Oh, they came out of a sewage drain. Is there like a manhole cover? I'm going to say there's a ghost kitchen with an unlocked door on your right. And you throw that open. Are you going to attempt to dive inside? No, 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 no. I'm trying to open another door that would make them go after that like they came when we busted the door of the Starbucks. Okay, so you're going to use the door as a distraction. And then how are you going to get away, right? Imagine you, Morgan, are running away from me and I'm looking at you. Mm -hmm. How are you going to get away? Are you going to run faster than me? I'm going to, like, if you are a robot who comes when doors are busted open. Right. I'm going to bust open another door. And then when you go to that door, I'm going to run away like a normal person. So you're, you're hoping to distract them so much that they are, that they literally go to the busted door. Or just turn them again so that we can all escape if we don't attack them again. I think this is going to be very difficult. Here's what I would say. I will let you try to do this, but it's going to be a very, very difficult role because you need two robots in the midst of attacking you to turn away entirely with the sound of a door opening. Question, can we not like sneak into like a garage like Grand Theft Auto and be fine like somewhere okay. close? That's not. Yes. So that would be just right? up wake up in a hospital. A right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hay bales. Are there any hay bales? Or can you jump off a very high roof? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Can we do the big like jumpy thing and and grab on just one of these armored bikes and like just drive away? You. So are you are you saying that we could sneak into the ghost kitchen? Is that what you were thinking when you said that? That's what I was thinking. You could okay. also take Heath's idea. There are the armored bikes. You could try to grab onto one of them and fly away. Oh, are people still going past us? Yeah, you got the armored bikes flying around on the streets. And they're not doing shit, apparently. Yeah, some of them got killed in that lightning bolt because he <laughs> fucking insisted on it, but there are others. Well, if some of them got some killed, eggs. then it seems like there should just be some bikes. There should be free around. ones, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. There are some bikes laying around, but there are charred corpses on top of them. I will make you roll to remove the charred corpses. What do we think that would be? Athletics, constitution, animal handling. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't you just ride with it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just got its. Hands around you. <laughs> Here's what I said. Charred cor corpse on Just the all of a sudden it turns into a, a romantic montage. All right, Damien, here's what I will say. I will give you a dexterity check to jump on the back of one of these bikes. If you succeed on the dexterity check, you will be carried away by the cyclist. How's that sound? Oh, the cyclist is alive. Yes. This is a passing There's cyclist live as ones opposed going to the past dead. Too, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So the options are... Try and distract them so we can all get away. Right. Which will be a high roll. Yeah. Or jump on a bike and get away yourself. You can try and dive into the kitchen, which I will make a stealth check. Okay. Which will be difficult, but not as difficult as distracting everybody with a door opening. Or you can make a dexterity check to be to ride away on the back of one of these bicycles. It's up to you. Or you could turn and fight them and uh, save our buddy. No, no, I'm not a that fighter. That would be great if maybe... I am not a fighter. <laughs> you have magic. Don't you have magic? Ranged magic? I don't really have like fighting. I don't have like firebolt and stuff though. Yeah, but do you have anything that attacks... No, not really. You should have some What of do you that? mean not really, though? <laughs> I have stuff that like either buffs us or debuffs them. Yeah, debuff them. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter because we're all almost dead. It wouldn't matter if I debuffed him. I'm not attacking. I have one good weapon and it can only slash. So I, <laughs> I can't do shit. It can right scream now. too. Yeah, yeah. I, this is a losing battle. We need to get the fuck away. All right. I am going to... I'm going to do the thaumaturgy and try and get us all <laughs> an escape chance. Okay. I just, I, I like, I feel like if I just got on a bike and rode away. I love it. That, that would be they'd the never peak forgive of cowardice. Me. And, yeah. yeah. They'd no, never I, forgive me. They wouldn't sing my song. That's for sure. Our little goth boy <laughs> is growing up. I got it. Okay. 
So here's what I'm going to say. You need, and I know you've got pretty heavy pluses. This will be a performance check. I am going to need this to be a 20 that will distract all of the robots on the thing enough that they all stop fighting the fight they are having and go towards the sound of a door opening. So I need this to be a 20. 20 fucking nine. There you have it, everybody. I didn't roll. Oh, no, that was me. Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I excited 29. Myself. I did yeah, it, everybody. <laughs> 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 yeah. Take it, goddammit. Take you it. You better <laughs> sing the shit out of System of you a Down or whatever sing right now. So Toxicity hard. better be amazing. Yeah, what do you... What? Yeah, let's see it. 29. Oh, my God. <gasps> oh, holy shit. Oh, it's actually a 29. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Disorder, this is disorder. This is awesome. <laughs> this is one of those things where, like, if we weren't sharing the dice, you would have had to roll again. Yeah, like, yeah, we would have yeah, yeah. like taking a picture on your yeah. goddamn phone. Yeah, yeah. all right. Yes, I did. These, I'm so it's good at songs. Yeah, these three robots fucking turn and run towards the open door. These <gasps> two robots, you could see there was a third invisible one. Jesus, never even fucking <laughs> aimed for it, and you run away into. The afternoon sun of <laughs> Dis. Y'all, we almost died. Yeah. Really, really, really sorry about that. Like, I almost drowned in that river earlier. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> So sorry, Eli. Are we are we supposed to have taken a long rest here? Yes, take a long rest. Get yourselves oh, back to okay. full strength. So Carl's just like watching us take a long rest, being like, "Okay, great." Well, no, you you <laughs> we, long we rested in up, between the least. layers of yeah. hell. Okay. <laughs> it would be hilarious though if he was like, "That's this." Any turns, and you guys are just all fast <sighs> asleep in like one day. <laughs> See, oh, I uh, no, I can wait. I can wait. I'll just I'll. Uh, I'll just sort of paddle in circles for a little while. How long's a long rest? Oh, wow. Eight hours. Fuck. I'm going to be here for a while. <laughs> I should start the bear. You know, I've been telling myself, Carl, we should start the bear. Everyone says it's a great <laughs> show. And now I've got eight hours. I'll watch the whole thing. <laughs> I'm thinking of a thing. It's garlic bread. Yes, I'm it thinking is. of a thing. It's me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Good job, Carl. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm, LLC. Copyright 2023. All rights reserved.